For a long, long time, there has been a war being waged between the honeybees and the Asian giant hornets. Every year, when summer ends, when fall approaches, the Asian giant hornets will create coordinated attacks on any beehive they can find. And today, I want to learn about this ancient conflict and the secret of giant hornets. 影片的最后会有新开的会员福利相关资讯，记得要看到最后。The Asian giant hornet, Vespa mandarinia, is the largest of its kind on Earth, ranging from four to six centimeters, and they use this size to their full advantage, preying on other smaller insects, including the honeybees. And unlike a lot of their wasp cousins, which build nests in the trees like this one, they use their powerful mandibles to dig underground to nest in the burrow. And their diet is mostly based on nectars and fruits, other carbohydrates. But when fall comes, when they need to raise their next generation of queens and drones, it turns into a mostly protein-based insect diet. After they catch their prey, they will use their powerful mandibles to turn the prey into meatballs before feeding it to their young. But a lot of different wasps do this, turning their food into meatball for easier consumption. But what makes the giant hornet special is that they created this coordinated attack on their enemies when they find their prey, kind of like a pride of lion attacking an antelope on the great segregating plain. So that's why when I heard about this fascinating behavior, I wanted to see it myself. So apparently, my friend's bee farm gets attacked by giant hornets every fall. So today, I'm here to visit him to see if I get a chance to get a glimpse of these magnificent but scary creatures. Learning to be a bee farmer for today. Really? Yes. Because I've missed it. 他被虎头蜂来过以后， oh. 他的那个卫兵都会在前面。So these are guard bees that are super scared right now because they were just attacked by giant hornets, and these are normal bee box. Not long after the camera started rolling, my friend caught a hornet. Not the giant hornet that we were looking for, but still an aggressive and bee hunting hornet. Every fall, at least five different types of hornet will come and attack his bee farm, and here is just a couple that we caught. 大大陆进口，大陆进口，哎，它应该是跟着木材进。哦，所以是入侵种。对对对。你说这只叫什么？黄腰。黄腰。黄腰是跟。人类居住环境重叠的，所以最常叮人的就是这种黄腰。As we continue to patrol the bee farm, it wasn't long until our target appeared. The Asian giant hornets, seeing it flying around alive, I can't help but still be amazed by how large and menacing it is. Even at a distance, I can still hear its wind flap. Almost sounds like a mini helicopter flying around. 拍完你跟我说好。哦，你可以，你你可以，你可以先抓了，其实。哇哦。Seeing a dead specimen is one thing. Seeing a live one move around really gives you a true sense of how giant these creatures are, and what it could be like. Be stung by one of these giants. Right when I was thinking about this, the bee decided to give me a small taste of the situation. So a bee stinger is about a millimeter long, and it gave me a good bit of pain and a huge sha guo da quan tou, which my girlfriend found to be really funny. But an Asian giant hornet stinger, about six millimeter long, and excruciatingly painful aftershock. There is actually an index that tracks how painful an insect sting is, called the Schmidt Sting Pain Index. This is Justin Schmidt, an entomologist who created the pain index, and used his own body to be stung by over 1,000 insects just to rank how painful each sting is relative to each other. And here is how he describes a level four sting. Four is absolutely excruciatingly debilitating, incapacitating. Just shuts you down. Just okay. You get the idea. You do not want to be stung by a level four pain sting. 
And remember when I got stung by a fire ant about a year ago, that pain is actually just the one. And a bullet ant is ranked a four. And one of the YouTuber called Coyote Peterson, who's been stung by all of them, ranks the Asian giant hornet as the most painful sting ever. Oh, this thing is stuck in my arm! Oh! Ah! Oh! Oh! Searing pain! This guy's been bitten by crocodiles, stung by tarantula hawk, bullet ants, you name it. And he says this is the most painful sting he's ever experienced. I would believe him. Oh, so how do you handle it? So Asian giant hornets aren't actually just out to get us. Even though we find them really scary and 50 people die every year in Asia from them alone. We usually get attacked when we accidentally get too close to the nest or we swipe on them by accident. The main target is still the honeybees. When an Asian giant hornet attacks a beehive, it actually happens in three phases. First, like we're seeing here, a scalp hornet will locate a beehive and check around the surrounding. Then it will mark the hive with a pheromone. Then it will attempt to capture a lone bee to be taken back to the hornet nest. I actually caught this on camera. As you can see here, a giant hornet locating its target, it flies under the cover of the bee box, then in an instant, flies out and snatches the bee and flies away. After the location of the beehive is revealed, the second phase begins. The scout hornet will recruit her sisters and return to the beehive, launching a full-out assault, and rip apart the bees one after another. As few as six hornets can decimate an entire beehive in a matter of hours. During the last phase, after the defending bees are gone, the hornet enters the beehive unimpeded and harvests the pupae and larvae of the bees to be turned into meatballs and feed to their young. So all the bees we've saw so far are Italian bees. They're beekeepers' favorite, but they have never dealt with giant hornets before. However, not all bees are helpless. When it comes to hornet defenses, the Japanese honeybee, however, has found a way. When they sense hornet scout coming in, they don't actually attack it right away. They wait until the hornet comes in. And when the hornet steps into the nest and attack a bee, that's a signal for the Japanese bee to swarm the hornet. So the heat tolerance of the Japanese hornet is actually slightly lower than that of the honeybee. So when honeybee vibrate their wings when they're swarming the hornet, it raises the internal temperature of the insect ball to up to 42 degrees, cooking the hornets alive. At the same time, keeping the hive location a secret. Asian beekeepers across Japan, China, and Taiwan, like Peiyao, has to deal with these Asian giant hornets constantly. But as recently as this year, the U.S. discovered the Asian giant hornets and they dubbed it the murder hornets. Murder hornet. Murder hornet. Murder hornet. Murder hornets. A really exaggerated name, but I can understand where they're coming from. And the U.S. government and related agencies are trying really hard to track down these invasive species hornet, going as far as using customized Bluetooth device, tying them to hornet scouts, hoping that it will reveal the hive location. Unfortunately, even as recent as September 2021, new hives are still being discovered. It seems like we're also losing the war against the Asian giant hornets, just like our little Italian bee friends. Hey, so today I want to thank Pei Yao for making this video possible. Every single time I visit him, he has given me super delicious honey from their family. It's actually really, really good. If you're interested, uh, I'll put a link below. And I also want to share that I'm starting a channel membership. Uh, I've visited a lot of places recently since I quit my job. Uh, for example, the Pingdong Hai Sun Guan. I visited the part where tourists can't actually go. There's a lot of behind the scenes stuff where I want to show, but might not fit in the main video. These videos won't be that long, but more like short clips of cool stuff that I see on the trips. I'll also be sharing some feeding show shorts as an added bonus. I'll also be giving away my sketches. If you didn't know, I was an artist designer before I did switch to YouTube. And I'm also thinking about visiting Australia and US whenever this COVID thing 
kind of calms down a little bit. I want to film the most venomous snake in Australia, peacock spider or kangaroos, koalas, all the stuff that Taiwanese audience probably haven't seen before. Uh, it's a huge endeavor. It will cost a lot. So if you want to support me and hopefully keep helping me doing what I do, feel free to hit that join button. And that's it for today. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.